So you've completed the main story and now you're wondering if there's anything left for you to do. Well, don't fret. There's a lot of fun side missions you can still complete. The first one is located at the Parima system, planet Parima 2. Here you'll find Paradiso, but most likely you'll start off in orbit. Once you're in orbit, you will see this strange ship floating around and after hailing the ship, you'll notice a strange sound is emitted. Dock the ship and you will find out more for yourself. Now I won't spoil anything major, but the planet itself has a lot to offer too if you're done with the mission. And there is a lot of ways you can go about this. This is definitely one of those golden side missions and opens up a lot of doors. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Now if you're into stealth and the 007 type of work, you will probably love this side mission. Most likely you already have a lead for it in your missions too. It's called Back to the Grind and it started by walking past one of the Ryujin Industries kiosks in Neon. Neon is located in the Folai system, planet Folai Alpha. Just walk up to one of the kiosks in Neon and answer a few basic questions. After this you can attend the interview at the headquarters, talk to Imogen Salzo and follow the leads you get there. These missions keep on getting better, so there is a lot of fun to be had here. Now while we're still in Neon, another fun side mission is the Showdown. You either already have this in your missions waiting to be completed, or you need to complete the Audition or the Display of Power missions. It begins by speaking to Vogel at Madame Savage's place and this mission is all about bringing down a rival gang. Strikers, look You've out. really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. So expect a lot of shooting and killing. Like a whole bunch of other missions, finishing this one will lead to another side mission too. Now this mission is a no-brainer, absolute one of the best. It starts out as the deep cover mission. Either you're dragged into this once arrested or you get called to report after completing some of the UC Vanguard missions. You will follow a series of missions which will shape you to become either the world saver and join the UC SysDev which are on a mission to destroy the pirates called Crimson Fleet. Or you'll join the dark side and you'll join them instead with a few lies here and there to maintain your cover. If you've completed all but the last mission, you can check out my video on which choice you should make. Now there is a lot of controversy about the exploring aspect of Starfield. And even if it's limited, there is still a lot of stuff to figure out and do. For example, you can travel to further away systems, which will require you to jump from system to system since they are so far. Here you will find higher level enemies and also a lot of random events. The best random event I found was this mission called Juno's Gambit. It involves another mysterious ship and a rogue AI, which already killed one of the crew members. It's up to you to figure this out and decide the fate of the crew. Hold it right there. Hands where I can see them. Correction. You are dangerous. Correction. They are going to change me. Last but not least, if you travel to the edge of the game, to the chair of this system, and then to the planet Chair of This 3, you will enter a very interesting place. This will start the mission Operation Starseed. If you're familiar with the dark Fallout 3 quests and very weird fault stories, this is just like that. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Without spoiling too much, this is a planet full of clones of famous people. An experiment gone wrong. On this planet you'll find a lot of hellish creatures. You think that maybe there would be some atomic bombs and fallout gone wrong here too if you enter these hallways. You should definitely explore around here. If you have another side mission you'd like to share, be sure to do so in the comments. And for now, have an awesome day.